Hello everybody and welcome to episode 6 of the Darkness Falls series. In today's episode, I think our goal is to hopefully start doing some infested clears because of this weapon I'm holding right now. It's kind of dark. Can't see it. It's a shotgun. They pointed to the skies. We'll start by dumping a bunch of things inside this chest that we don't really need right now. Including these cooking pots. Let's scrap those. What are they even doing in there? Fill up on food and water and then... Oh, what are you doing? What do you think you... Well, my, my frame rate just got murdered at the same time as that zombie. Was oh, that a cigar? Don't mind if I do. You wear that. Well, it gives plus 10% bartering in this, but then again, you don't really have a strength stat. So that kind of makes sense. We'll fill up on food and water, and then just get straight to questing. Mm-mm. Quest flavor. Two more bowls of water. Clear, clear, clear. Wait, what? They're all tier one. Why? Wait. Huh? Well, we'll do this one, I guess. Can't go wrong with nearby quests. They're the quickest and easiest to finish up. So off we go. Questing time. I'm curious, what is my bladed weapon skill at? 40. Oh, right. Okay, we need 17 more levels to finish all of this business up. And another 13 levels in mining tools to get the last perk there as well. Oh, this must be our POI. Construction site. A couple of these guys waking up to say hello. Reading their guess. Said you need me to leave? Sorry, it's gonna be a pass. I do believe this would be considered a public easement. Check this for Forge Ahead? No, just some rocks. Alright, we'll just start the quest then. Open it again. Hmm? Forge Ahead? No. Maybe that's only in vanilla. Probably just vanilla. But that should have reset the mailbox here. Yeah, just paper. Too bad. Might as well loot what we can here. I don't know if it's just the storm, but it feels very early in the day. Welding torch, calipers, a lot of stuff here. High tier shovel, but it's not worth anything, so we'll just scrap it. Rest oh no. Is that an actual screamer? I feel like I just dealt with this on the <laughs> Horde Rush series. <laughs> Did that count? Was that an actual scream? I don't think so. We'll come in through the top this time. See one zombie there and one here. Let's get a little crouch. Stab this lady in the back of the head. Pretty standard greeting. Then we'll get this guy. You know, I don't think we can go wrong with collecting this cloth. Getting a very intense sense of deja vu. I think we just did this on the, <laughs> on the Horde Rush series. But that's fine. The occasional repeat of a POI is to be expected. Lest we abandon a series as soon as it doesn't seem as entertaining. Wait, hold on. This book unlocks the workbenches perk by one level per book. What am I at for workbenches? Oh, this will max it out. Eat. There we go. Problem solved. Collect this corpse while we're at it. Trash. Shotgun parts. Scrap it. Unlocked door. Now we just need to punch our way into the first floor. Bars. <laughs> I literally did just get done doing this. It's kind of entertaining. Should be able to punch our way through here pretty quickly. Luckily, it's only a tier 1 POI, so it shouldn't be too difficult, but... I don't know. I had the feeling that the tier 2 quest should have been unlocked already. Guess we have a bit more work to do. I do enjoy watching the bleed damage work. Seems to do, at least with a power attack, about 6 damage per second, which I think is a pretty good amount. Hit this button, crack that door open, and loot the rest of this. Vehicles for dumb shits, we'll learn that. Do we still need more? I guess we'll just continue. Tier 7 wrench. I guess we'll scrap this one? Yeah. We'll scrap this one and take the tier 7. Grab that. Five repair kits in one box is pretty intense. I like that. And the last bit of loot. Scrap iron club. Sell? Well, scrap. Have that can of pasta, we can drop it. Finally, a helmet light mod. <laughs> now it can function properly in the game. Red tea recipe, now we have a reason to grab chrysanthemum. So we're gonna do that. Tier 16 scrap iron spear, we have 21. So this can be sold. One thing's for certain though, we gotta put that helmet light on right now. Like so. Wonderful. Ah, oh, that feels good. Being able to hit F and get light. Hmm light. Let's go clear out the rest of this area. I guess after restarting the quest, we got another tomato. Is it just these two? Nobody else? Easy enough. Mushroom spores? I don't think we need that. We can rush our way back to the trader. If we haven't finished up the requirements for the first tier of quests, then I'm sure we're at least very close, which means we might get a bicycle soon. Ooh, like Christmas. Oddly enough, another day passes and my trees are not fully grown. It's too bad. Maybe in the next day. I'm pretty sure those ones don't need water or anything. All right, Hugh, what do we get? Could you be any louder? Feels like every quest he's trying to offer us an iron helmet. Generic schematics, that's good, we'll take that. The next quest, buried supplies 300 meters away. That'll be quick enough. We'll just rush a bunch of these. You know what, why use the door? 
The zombies made a secondary exit this way. Actually, we're a little encumbered, so we'll fix that real quick. I think I have some nails. They might use those to make a writable storage chest. Or, well, bigger storage. Storage. Oh, I misspelled it. Writable or not. Cost the same resources, so we'll just get writable. Grab three of these, and I'll put them down inside the base. Right down here. I need more sand. We have a couple of these. Put the anvil in here and turn this off. Unlike vanilla, we don't have to actually sit here and leave it on to let it cook. Let them cook. And we'll just put the storage right above the forge. The cobblestone and such in there. Calipers, welding torch. We won't need those for a while. I don't know why, but I had two separate stacks of building blocks. I'll fix that real quick. Oh, hold on a second. I can make goldenrod tea and red tea. So I could just start turning my drinks into, well, more efficient drinks using the goldenrod and chrysanthemum. And I might just do that for now. Let's put the ammo away. We gotta sell the spear later. I also appear to have replaced my crowbar with a torch. That reminds me. This is a normal torch. We don't want to use this. We want to scrap it if possible. We can't. So we'll just drop it. Goodbye, torch. Rest easy in little torch heaven. Then we'll put the survivalist torch here instead. Because that one produces no heat, which is, of course, great. Put these nails down here. What else do we need? Not much. Start making some forged iron. Set 200 to craft. Seems like a sensible amount, <laughs> based on your definition of sensible. So that's on the way. Can I make a cement mixer yet? I'm actually curious. <laughs> Before the seventh day, that would be amazing. Hammer and forge or concrete mixing? Can I just learn the concrete mixing? Concrete. No. Science crafting 2, mining tools 20, and no labor class. So I would have to get science crafting 2. That could be done. Eventually. Eventually. Just not right now. Now this should serve plenty enough. You know, we'll, we'll take these jars. And let me check up here. Did I put my sand away? Is that what's happening here? I did. We're gonna turn all of this into more bottles or jars. I guess we'll let the iron cook first. That is gonna take almost an entire episode to craft. Oof. But that's okay. We shouldn't need more than 40 different versions of chrysanthemum or goldenrod. So we're gonna have to start picking those up as we pass by, like this. Good old goldenrod. Cotton can be ignored. Chrysanthemum is collectible. Time to turn on that headlamp. We're gonna make our way to the water source and fill up all the empty jars that we have. Try to collect any goldenrod or chrysanthemum between us and the objective. Really start maximizing our water intake. Bit of a change of diet. Later on, when we take the farmer class, we'll actually take the time to create a farm for these kind of things and automate the process. But for now, we're gonna pass on that. What's this? Huh? Did I wake up a stripper? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and just sleep right there. Right in that little grave. <laughs> Let's just bury a little deeper. Just a little... <laughs> God damn it, stop getting in my way. There you go. Nice little grave. Enjoy that. Let's grab this. I woke up whatever's under there again. Head back to the base. I really want to get this golden rod and chrysanthemum thing started because we can slowly start increasing our wellness by drinking these drinks. I think every six minutes or so, we can drink one and it'll increase our wellness by one. That seems small, but the sooner you start doing that, the better, for obvious reasons. So of course, collect any and all chrysanthemum and golden rod once you can, well, actually make things with them. Or if you Start with Farmer, which is actually a really good idea. You can have an amazing turnover rate with those. Let's see, Goldenrod, do I need clean water first? I guess I do. That's okay. We'll set these to cook. 41 minutes. <laughs> it's only gonna be a while. Yeah, seems to be the only way to really do it. So, we'll start cooking clean water. I could just set up a second campfire here. Nah, eh, then I have to make more cooking pots and such. For now, we're off to do this buried supplies. I don't believe, since it's tier one, I don't think that it'll be summoning zombies with each shrinkage of the dig radius. Gotta give me some of this. Yup. Tasty. I think I am going to be trying to stick with the spear for the Horde Knight. I was pondering using a crossbow, but it'd be far more efficient to hold off for a plethora of reasons. But mostly because I remembered that you can pay that secondary trader, the White River trader. We haven't interacted with her much, but we will. You can pay her to learn how to craft certain things, like getting tier one science crafting or gun crafting, just as an example, which of course is a great idea. And the quests for her are insanely fast. So we'll be partaking of that shortly after this. I just want to get the bicycle first. Here we go, digging time. But first, let's get some of this business. Stockpiling chrysanthemum and goldenrod. It's a good idea, at least for now. Well, this is a small dig radius. Actually, it's really small. Why? <laughs> I don't have any of the perks into it. Is it just because of the survivalist class? It could be. Definitely could be. I mean, 
Is it just me? It seems like a really small ring. A <laughs> really small ring. But oh well, it is what it is. It's to our benefit, so I guess I shouldn't be complaining. Oh, my shovel broke. Damn it. Suppose this is just a more effective way to gather clay than my standard thing, which is just to, well, dig around my base. Buried supplies, at least you get the clay and, of course, the quest reward. And whatever might be in the chest. So the ring just shrank, and yeah, I'm not being attacked yet, which is probably a good thing. Although I wouldn't mind if the XP made its way to me. That is pretty convenient. Uh, looks like I don't need to be going that way, so we'll go this way instead. <laughs> Always sneaking and snonking. You have to maximize your XP at all times, especially athletics. It's the slowest skill to increase. Guess we'll have to start going this way. I do look forward to when we can comfortably craft more things, like repair kits and iron, which will require more forges and time, of course. But when we can, it's going to be majorly beneficial, because this digging could be happening at like three times the rate. The iron shovel swings faster, of course consuming more stamina along with it, but swings faster and of course does more damage. Oh, here we go. Here's our treasure. Blueberry jam? I'll just eat that now, I guess. Bowl of murky water. Uh, I don't really need that. Drop it. Me, stew. Get some more wellness. Nice. And orange tea. I'll keep that in my inventory for now. And here we go. Now we should get attacked by a few zombies. Yeah, just a handful. It is only tier one after all. A beaker. Nice. It's pretty convenient. Pipe rifle. Scrap it. At least we got some ammo though. I do like that we've gotten to a point where we can comfortably start our zombie interactions with a power attack makes them go much smoother. Trying to keep up with grabbing the goldenrod and chrysanthemum, since they're going to become our primary water source, or water type, drink type, for a while. Get a chili, you can just drop that. See how this thing does. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> awesome. The fire axe is pretty good as a weapon. At least seems that way to me. Still find it weird that the vanilla, like, tutorial loading menu tip says that the fire axe is bad as a weapon. Like, I, I don't understand. It's one of the best. Now, a pickaxe, that's a bad weapon. It's too pinpoint. You don't get many glancing blows if you miss, and it's easy to miss. It's basically like a short-range spear, but worse. Try to sneak in at least two more quests before the sun goes down. You don't really realize how littered the map is with chrysanthemum until... Well, you're actually looking for them. Here we have a sleepy little pig. He's a good little piggy wiggy. You're a good little piggy wiggy. And a dead piggy wiggy. Now a looted piggy wiggy. That escalated quickly. Get some more of this business. Ooh, tomatoes. The encumbrance really adds up fast if you're picking up food and veggies and looting. Even a, even a standard amount it really does add up. What up, you? Don't mind the machete. Let's see. Crossbow bolts, neat and all, but don't need it. I don't need the food either, so leather leg armor, sure. Anything to reduce the odds of me getting random critical injuries. Uh, clear had Buzz's bar. I feel like we've done this POI already, but I guess we're gonna do it again. While we're here, sell this spear. Bars. Anything else I wanna sell? Uh, should be fine with just that. Let's put on my legs. I'll be my leg armor. I still have legs, right? Yeah, I have legs. And get on to this clear, right? Yeah, well, I'd rather drop off the empty bowls and the beaker. If I can do enough quests today, I think I should be able to achieve the next tier and unlock that bicycle. But I do want that bicycle. Maybe I should make a second campfire. It's not a bad idea. I can afford it. It's a convenience thing. Not a convenience I'm willing to pay for. I just got done scrapping those cooking pots too. Whoopsie. I have to give this thing more wood. Pop in 400. Stop the queue. I'll take the cooking grill and one of the fire pots. And now this one will be... Actually, no, we'll keep the cooking grill in this, and this will be a food-only one. So all the grilled business goes here, and baked, because you need the cooking grill for that. Then over here, put another 400 wood in, and the cooking pot, and this will be exclusively for water. There we go. Actually, before we do that, transfer this over here, and cancel this water, and start cooking the goldenrod and red tea. Holy crap, 47 goldenrod. I guess I've been popping off a little harder than I needed to. We'll start with the red tea, and then queue up a bunch of water. Let's head on down to that clear quest, and start getting some more XP. I'll probably continue to collect the chrysanthemum and goldenrod, just not going too far out of my way to do so. It is, after all, going to slowly and permanently increase our maximum health and stamina, assuming we don't die between uses. Keep collecting this. What is this? Oh, is that? Are these? Is that a spider? I see a spider zombie. Let's go ahead and collect this mailbox. And he didn't even notice us. Amazing. <laughs> I guess it's XP. Just sitting here. Might as well partake. Easy enough. <laughs> they were just sitting there. 
I mean, what XP is offered to you so freely? Why wouldn't you take it? Pretty nice of them to cover all these houses and random veggies and fruits. You know, being in the desert, in this, in Darkness Falls, seems like it would be insanely useful. Because you could at any point just hit a cactus, get one to four yucca, and then that's just all your food for the day. Like, that's, that's really good. I'll have to keep that in mind. Howdy, cowboy. Who one shot. Raw. It's a tough life out here for them cowboys. We're just about at our quest objective. Just between home and here, we've already accrued four encumbrance slots. Put something on the hot- I didn't even drop off my beaker or the bowls. <laughs> or the generic schematics. About a thousand. Get the stones on my hot bar just to save some space. And get ready to quest. I don't think we have done this one, but we're at least gonna take a peek. Hey everybody, I'm the new guy in town. And peace was never an option. More wrenches. I guess I could sell them. Ooh, ooh. I'll put the stronger one here and then keep the others just in my inventory for trading purposes. They are worth quite a bit. Time to get to looting. Open everything you can because mm -mm -mm, scavenging right there. That's the stuff. Two beers. I guess that's worth a hundred dukes. We'll sell it. Even look through the trash. Just aloe vera seeds. Don't need it. Oh, no, 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 no. Please stay down. Coal. Well, that is useful. I'd like to find a coal vein and just collect some of that for my fuel. It's far more efficient than using wood. I guess we'll just eat this lamb ration. I don't care to have my inventory slots filled up. Ooh. Two chrysanthemum seed recipes. I don't think I really need these. Scrap them for bundles of skill notes, which we've only gotten eight of. Not amazing, but something. Archery notes. Neat. This is why you loot everything here. Especially, just, ca just casually murdering while talking about this, but especially if you're actually investing in any of the scavenger perks, it's a good idea because you can increase your looting speed by about 50%, and you can also increase your loot stage if you're investing in those perks as well. So let's head up to the roof and see what's waiting for us. It appears to be not much, actually. Just a stripper and a biker. Nothing we can't handle. The power attacks really do just knock everything over which is nice vehicles for dumb shits now that we're maxed out we can scrap these for bundles of skill notes cans of tuna can be dropped auto rifle i guess we're about to head back so i'll sell it well auto rifle parts Ooh, this is pretty good we'll equip it it's better than the padded hood is that next tento bar let's not think about it too hard modify this we'll be bringing the red dye as well we got ourselves a nice little football helmet, tier 55. We'll wear it for now. Padded hood is only worth 11 dukes, so we'll sell it. And now we run all the way back home. Ooh, shopping cart. Lamb rations. Again? Oh, beef rations. I was close. Couple of nerds wandering the street, hmm? Sounds like XP to me. <laughs> Gotta be careful about these fuller portions. Something about the player-made homes causes way more lag than the vanilla stuff. So I might start getting stuttering that I have to edit out... <laughs> If I sprint through these areas too quickly, because it's best to save my commentary for when we're at objectives rather than while sprinting between them. Something about the design of the player houses really is just ruining. <laughs> Absolutely ruining my recordings. This one house really seems like it should be in the desert, not here. It's just covered in cactus and yucca. Being in the middle of a simple grassy area. <laughs> Pretty nice location. Just seems weird. Good old corpses. Are there any more piggies over here? Not seeing any. I do see a corpse over there. I'll just leave it be for now. The goal is more quests. I want to unlock that damn bicycle. We need mobility supremacy. After taking the reward for this quest, I also have to drop off some things. I'm carrying a lot of stuff that I don't need on me. Fight pistol, knuckies, skill notes. Weighted head mod. It's not really going to help us now, is it? I guess we'll just sell the knuckies back to him. Or we'll sell the head mod back to him. Here, you can just... Have that back. Not gonna use it. While well, we're at it, take these wrenches. Wrench flavor. Auto rifle parts. What else? Anything else we want to get rid of? No, eh, that should do for now. It's a fetch. We can do this quickly. After dropping off our stuff. Oh, surprise nurse. Starting to wonder if I should just use the fire axe as my main weapon. Thing is super effective. Beyond super effective. Guess we'll queue up some more food. Starting to think I don't have to pick any up for a while. Seems that way to me at least. Uh, we do have some red tea. Yeah, I see. 25 water per drink, plus 15% efficient digestion, which lasts for 4 minutes. Plus one wellness. Very good. We have one sort of super drink that we got from a box or a chest or something. Just waiting for my water to hit around, say, 60 to drink that. And then we'll be moving on to the tea. 
Good old tea. Put this away, and then the beaker. I guess the ammo, too. Should probably do, of course. And now we make our way to the quest. It's just a fetch. Have to remember, just a fetch. It's just a fetch, survivor. Don't kill everything. <laughs> like convincing an addict not to take a hit. Don't kill all the zombies. There's no need. I get the feeling we have more chrysanthemum and goldenrod than we're gonna need for a while. Since each drink gives you 25 hydration, having 10 of them fills your water two and a half times. And that's from zero. More often than not, you'll just drink two and then leave it alone. As is my usual routine, I'll just say. It's not too bad to have excess. Ah, we have a mailbox. It appears as though there's two of the same house right here, with the yucca and such, and another frame rate hitch. Eh, what are you doing? Just came out of nowhere. I feel like she wasn't there just a second ago. I mean, I welcome the XP, but what, where, why? Ooh, gotta check them mailboxes. Forge ahead, we can scrap this one. Keep getting those bundles of skill notes. You can actually give yourself skill points later on when you've got an excess of those. I think it takes 60 bundles of skill notes to get one skill point. So we're here. Guess we'll check the trash and collect it. Oh, we know this POI. This is a old school vanilla POI. Don't need the mushroom spores. I'll take these for the scrap polymers and loot the mailbox. Quest time. Just a fetch, survivor. Don't overdo it. Ooh, blood weapon notes. Neat. I'm not going to be switching to these, so I'm going to scrap this for more bundles of skill notes. Just run through here nice and quick. Actually, it says it's on the second floor, so we'll go up here. Upsy daisy. No birds? Good. What are you doing? Wait, I see bird's nest. Bird's nest, but no birds. Weird. We have a jacket. Well, I guess it's better than my other stuff, so I'll take it. Check the trash. Shotgun notes. I'll definitely read that. It's valuable. Bird's nest. Always maximize them feather gains. Where's this thing? Right in here, huh? What if I just beat my way down to it? I'm okay with doing that. I've got time. Yeah, I don't even have to go in. <laughs> just grab that and go. Nice. It's like a stealth mission. But, you know, I punched a hole in a wall, so it wasn't really stealth. But you get the idea. Over feathers and trash. I don't really care to collect the gunpowder. I'll wait until I'm ready to craft it. Huh? What? What, did you hear me kicking that can? Well, now you've kicked the can. Gotta repair this thing. My fire ass is on its last limbs. Bust. Get more feathers for feathers. Give me more. The seventh day is going to be a melee horde day. Well, horde night. But, doesn't mean we shouldn't collect as many feathers as possible in preparation for the 14th day. My hope is to spend the 14th day using a crossbow with the crossbow auto loader, the mod. Darkness Falls exclusive because it sounds fun and I haven't tried it yet. It's fairly new to the mod. There really is just a lot of chrysanthemum and golden rod. Damn. I usually ignore it entirely. Even in vanilla, it's just littered everywhere. Ooh, what? I heard somebody hissing at me. Oh, you? What's up, dude? Just had to pass a bag, huh? Scrap iron axe. I guess I can sell it. 50 dukes. I hope this is enough. If I turn this in and it's not enough for the bicycle, we might have to just take that other clear quest that's left and go clear into the night, which doesn't sound too fun. Not sure how I feel about Darkness Falls and nighttime escapades, at least at this point in the game. Another gloves! Don't mind if I do. Wait, magazine extender. I think I already have one of these at the base, so I'll pass. Claw hammer. Did we get one of those already? Did we? I don't think so. Let me check if I can craft those yet. Hammer. Him. I can. And they're pretty cheap, so I'm not going to take that. I'll just take the leather gloves. Anything for more armor. Because it looks like we're going to have to do this clear in the nighttime. It says it's a trailer park. Interesting. Let's so wear these nice little gloves. Sell some things to hue. Like this. We still have these damn clay bowls. I guess I could make these anytime I want. I don't need them right now. Nah. I'm gonna go ahead and just drink this. Shush, Hugh. I didn't ask. I know I'm great. You don't have to tell me. Just gonna chug that orange tea, and we'll make our way to the quest. If we do it right, we might be able to clear the place before the sun goes down, and then we just have to sneak snonk our way back home in the dark. And we got a headlight lamp. He headlight lamp mod. Whatever. So we can at least see what's going to kill us before it does. That's what we call a win. Just keep running, just keep running. Mm-mm, corpses in the street. I get this mailbox? Yes. One of the buildings in this range, this portion of the town, really, really kills my frame rate. I'm not running like a potato rig or anything either, so this is just poor seven days optimization. A couple G's dumped into this thing, and it still shits its pants doing this. If any of you have been watching the other series I've been doing, Elden Ring or Pal World or any, they're all fine. No problems. 
Just seven days. Apparently this game is so poorly optimized that even supercomputers just start falling apart. Mailbox in the middle of the street. Two mailboxes. Must be like a duplex. Overwatch recipe. Scrap it for points. Hunting knife. Apparently I already know how to do that. All right, I took knife crafting. Let's make our way through here. And there's actually a bunch. Let's not grab the tomatoes. I don't want to over encumber myself any more than I have to. We're actually going to go through this trailer park, just the middle of it, before we activate the quest. What's up, janitor man? Damn. <laughs> I power attacked the janitor and I actually hit the dirt beneath, which means that the penetrative power of my power attack is working. We're gonna get these mailboxes and then reset the area. Paper, more paper, right. Ouch, scrap armor, didn't want it. Did I just panic and read it? I guess we got some hide out of the ordeal. Sounds like there's a snake too. The hell, I wasn't trying to piss everyone off. This is good to do while the sun is still up. Oh, I just ran over a snake. How's it going, bud? Being all squiggly and squirmy. Feel ya. It's just Mondays, am I right? Let's get the rest of these mailboxes. Let's grab that. It's really good for farming these skill nodes. More paper and this, which can be scrapped. Goody. Now let's start the quest. And everything that just happened is gonna happen again. I've got this intense sense of deja vu. Ooh, <laughs> I love how they just ragdoll with the power attack. Love it. It is clear, so I guess I'm gonna have to go in the buildings. So we'll step in here. What's up, folks? Let's check the back end. A toilet? Nothing? Okay. What about in here? Man, they love breaking the door as soon as I open it. Check for a toilet pistol? Nope, just the toilet turd. Check the rest of these cupboards. Charred meat. Don't mind if I do. I personally like to. Like, actual. For, for real. I actually kind of like to burn my food sometimes based on what it is, like french fries. I like to burn my french fries just a little bit, tiny little bit. Nothing in this room here? All right. It is almost night time, so I guess we're gonna have to start being a little bit more thoughtful. Hops flour, I don't think I'll be brewing beer. Potatoes and a chrysanthemum though, we'll take those. So, next little trailer. What do we have here? Oh, tourist. <laughs> the piercing. I'm not gonna get over that. The fact that I keep wailing into things behind the zombies. <laughs> I don't know why, I just really like that. I don't really care about the springs, I just want the cloth, so we'll take that. Cupboards, mostly supplying me with bones. It's a skirt, we can scrap that. Not feeling like a skirt kind of day. Drop some more turds on the floor. Is that a... yeah, he's running. It's officially nighttime. Come on, cowboy. What are you doing? They mean business. I'm gonna close this door while I loot. <laughs> They're really trying to beat their way in. That's okay. I can handle one or two, or maybe three, if I'm really lucky. Pile of books, which translates right to more book notes. Board boots, scrap those. Running shoes with purple dye, neat. Scrap that. Recog, just drop it. Get ready for murder time. You guys having fun out here? Oh, that's irradiated. Uh, I can knock him down pretty comfortably with two power attacks. Oh, there's um, three of them, it seems. Well, I just got to see the effect of the piercing a little bit, hitting two zombies with one power attack. Not bad. Oh, they just needed the toilet. You should have said so. I would have let you right in. Let's go ahead and check out the next set. Ouch. You got me the same exact way. Oh, <laughs> look at that leg go. This dog is feeling the groove, man. He's got that jazz in his veins. <laughs> it's the stanky leg. Ah, snake. Damn thing. I'm watching this dog do the stanky leg. Do you mind? I really prefer if you just didn't mess with me like that. Drop that poison. Collect stanky leg dog, make our way into the next trailer. Who? Who's oh yeah? What for? Oh, you're in the bathroom? Yikes. Let's just make me a pervert. Close the door. And I guess I'm gonna take some of that gamer girl bath water. Here you can have your privacy back. Chicken rations, I guess I'll eat those. Blueberry seed. I'll learn it, I guess. Learn everything once. I'll try anything once. And what's over here? Looks like basically nothing. So, on to the next trailer. Right across the ways here. Ooh, corpse. More bones. Ooh. I do love these mailboxes. Check the SUV. What's in here? It's SUV flavor. Just a wheel. We'll drop it. Don't need it. Not right now. What, what are you doing? There's like stairs right down here, lady. The heck? Oh, crap, we got a cowboy approaching. Might as well just take care of it now. How you doing, cowboy? Yeah, two power attacks seems to be enough to just knock them right down, which is great. Means the spear is working. Close one of these doors. Eliminate Big Mama here. Don't explode. If you're gonna do that, do it in the oven. Check the bathroom. Oh boy. That is supposed to be done in there. Oh, it's because the toilet was already full. I see. Anything in here? Office chair? We can just scrap it. Wooden crate. Leather armor schematic. Nah, scrap it. Bag of peanuts. This. Collect everything. What's up, buddy? Oh, there's two of them. Two buddies. Oh, I got the penetrating power. 
Stabbed her in the leg, the other guy in the head. Nice. I can hear another one, though. What are you doing? Stop it, cowboy. GG's, dude. I can't jump up there. Nails. I guess I'll take those. Saves me time and iron. Start looting these cupboards and fridges. Oh, murky water can drop that. Take the potato and the coffee. Yummy. Two more trailers to go, which I believe are this way? Yeah, toward the trash. It's like that for the scrap polymers. Get ready. You never know what might be over here. Janitors. I should have known. Oh, I missed. Seems like you can pretty comfortably just stab them in the chest and they'll fall over too, which is good. Step in here. Close the door. What's up, hoodie guy? Is it just him? Is it more over here? Or doesn't seem so. Cool. Check the toilet. Just nothing but turds. Some pretty poopy people here. Charred meat? Sure. That's a freebie. Since water is basically infinitely replicable now, we don't have to worry about it too much. If we don't set up a farm, we're gonna have to start branching further out for food, though. So, any food we get, we should use. Rifle notes? Uh, I guess? Maybe? Ah, yeah, scrap it. Farming tips? I will learn that. Or farming stuff I have access to, the better. Take this bed, too. Is this locked? What? Was it? Oh, there's two doors to this place. Neat. Now there is but the one trailer left. More paper in the mailboxes. Nothing great. Bird's nest? Don't mind if I do. Over here, toolbox? Nothing great. Let's take a peek in here. Says they're right in this bathroom. Okay. The yellow dot tricked me. Said there was someone to the right. Turns out they were to the left. I've been duped. And I even took a hit for it. No injuries, though. Just keep dropping everyone's turds on the floor. Ooh. Two blueberry recipes. Sounds like there's a zombie outside. Good thing I closed the door. Nope. We're not taking any more gas. Pass curfew. You can hit that door all you want, lady. I'm not going out yet. Kinda busy. What's in here? Stun baton? Oh, chunk baton. Huh. Batons could be fun. Actually, headlights? What are those sell for? I can sell those. Oh, hey, hey. Who do you think you are? Just sneaking in here? Someone else is home? Whapping him in the face like that? No, just one hand, but two hands. <laughs> Broke the window behind him. I love the piercing thing. It's great. Go and collect this trash can, and I guess we'll just start making our way back home. Being mindful of our stamina so we'll be ready for any fights that occur. That's all I really can do. Just start sprinting cautiously. There's another trailer over here. If we can get out of the town, that would probably be the safest bet. You're less populated. So we'll veer. Oh, here we are. Just one zombie? Perfectly manageable. I don't know. Stay down. Stay down. That's what's best for you and me. Ooh, shotgun shells. That's why I want to unlock the infested clears. I want to mass stock shotgun shells for my pump. Just keep moving cautiously through the streets. Keep a sensible distance from all buildings. Oh, we have a thug coming. Gotta remember this thing has insane range. So far this is pretty manageable, but we've only been attacked by two zombies. Separated. Sparsed out. What's in the dumpster? Garbage. Who to thunk it? Who? What? Why? Where? Oh. Burning Man. But like, not the fun kind. Shirt and cap. Don't care about either of them. Alright, we made it out of the town. So we're not likely to get attacked by large batches anymore. Just keeping an ear and an eye out. There we go. We can see the enemies when we're not in town pretty easily. There's one radiated and just appears to be... I think he's classified as a bow in the files, but oh crap, there's two of them. This one's not radiated, so it's harder to notice. You know, this is actually pretty good. If it's not like 10 or 20 zombies, I can actually handle quite a few. Just keeping them down with the power attack and then using the light attack to slowly whittle away at their HP. Unlike the hunting knife or any of those kind of bladed weapons, the power attack on the spear seems to be very consistent when it comes to knockdown power. Maybe we don't have to fear the knight anymore. Although I'd rather chalk that up to armor, I'd rather have far more armor before we start determining whether or not night time is dangerous. To turn this quest in, hopefully that door doesn't alert everyone. Close this behind us too. See if we can get our bicycle yet. Pocket mod? Ooh. I might take that. Bladed weapon notes could be good too. Pocket mods. It's only a one pocket mod. Sure, we'll just take it for now. Well, he's got... Oh, we're at tier two. Wait, but I didn't get a reward. Huh, strange. I mean, we could do another clear quest. Sure, why not? We're handling the nighttime just fine. What do we want to sell to him? Headlamp. What else? Oh, we got almost 20 skill notes just today from that one quest that we just did there. Like, that was a lot of books. Because trailer park. Let's go ahead and put the pocket mod somewhere here. I think it goes on clothes, right? Yeah. We'll go on the suit jacket. Nice. Try to remove some of our encumbrance and then make our way to the quest. Perhaps we might actually have to save it for the next episode. Let's take out this red boy. Might even give us enough XP to get very close to a level.
Yeah, two quick power attacks really handles everything. And it is quick. I can just one, two, three. Like, it's just, it's non-stop. Let's get back to cooking everything. This is how we feed ourselves for now. Let's put some of the food away in a chest. Oh shit. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of water. Oh wait, is it finished cooking all of the water? Did I not queue it up? I guess I did. Hmm. Slightly confused. But oh well. We'll cook more red tea. 30 of them. Yeah, that'll do. Then set up more clean water to be cooked. That's that. We're gonna want to actually start drinking some of this. We'll drink two for now. But it makes our water 2.5 times more efficient, plus we get the efficient digestion. Actually, let's sell this beer back to Hugh. I just realized it was in my inventory. And then we'll sort our inventory out at the base. How to Hugh? Yeah. Like to you. Well... I mean, no, but the room next to it, that's a lounge, right? That's a storage room. You got me. You got me, you. You and your big brain. I guess you're not so bad after all. Oh, I know. Hugh likes me. He just likes to pretend that he doesn't. Why did I use the door? There's a hole in the wall. Did that sound like a zombie? I guess not. No zombies. Wouldn't repair this spear. I'm getting paranoid. It does feel good to be able to handle one or two zombies at nighttime. And now that we're being comfortably topped up on food and water and our wellness is increasing, we can start to feel a bit more comfortable about the concept of just taking hits or engaging zombies that we normally wouldn't. Let's head on down here, start dumping some resources, put the coal in this to keep it going. That's going to be going for a long time. The campfires are probably not going to be going forever. I guess this is just a dump chest for now until I decide to sort it out, which may not happen anytime soon. I do believe I had bottles of acid up here, didn't I? Let me check. No, I guess not. I also have more food to take care of. But that will have to wait for the next episode. This has been episode 6 of the Darkness Falls series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Is that a cow? Wait, what? what the? And I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.